You guys are all familiar with the primitive types that Java has. Okay. And so if you define something as one of these primi primitive types, the JVM sets aside exactly the required amount of memory for that primitive type. But remember, for the objects, when you define an object and you instantiate it, the JVM sets aside four bytes as the pointer for the object that points to a space on the heap, and then as much space on the heap as is required for the object. So these primitive types are not objects. They don't inherit from the object method. They don't have the equals, the two, the two string, and the hash code functions. But Java has, in addition to primitives, It has wrapper classes, and the wrapper classes are object versions of the primitives. So the wrapper for byte is byte with a capital B. The wrapper for short is short with a capital S. The wrapper for long is long with a capital L. The wrapper for double is double with a capital D. Guess what the wrapper for int is? It's integer with a capital I. Don't ask me, that's not how I would have done it. And car is car with a capital C, and boolean is boolean with a capital B. Okay. So we have, we have a primitive, and we have an object. And we can switch between them. And Java will try and do the right thing, switching between them via what's called auto-boxing. Okay, auto boxing. So if you say int x is equal to 2, and then if we have our object array, 